Welcome to another episode of our video series. I'm Ryan Chan, the CEO and founder of Upkeep. Today, we're going to explore the exciting world of maintenance strategies, specifically preventive maintenance and reliability-centered maintenance. We'll dissect what makes each strategy unique, their respective workflows, implementation, and cost implications. By the end of this video, you'll have a clearer understanding of how these strategies can help improve your equipment performance, streamline maintenance tasks, and reduce downtime. Let's get started. Today, we're comparing two popular maintenance strategy approaches, preventive maintenance and reliability-centered maintenance. Both of these strategies share a common goal. They aim to increase asset reliability and lifespan by creating a system of scheduled work. So, what's the difference? Well, preventive maintenance is often generalized across a large number of assets, whereas reliability-centered maintenance takes a deep and specific look at each individual piece of equipment to create a unique schedule. Let's break down these differences a bit more. Preventive maintenance is a proactive strategy that keeps assets in good order by scheduling tasks at specific intervals or dates. It's a time-triggered approach with relatively low startup costs. It can save companies between 12 to 18% of their operating costs. On the other hand, reliability-centered maintenance is a process for figuring out the level of necessary maintenance for a specific piece of equipment and then designing a unique maintenance schedule. It's based on individual asset needs and can be triggered by time, parameter, or downtime. The startup cost is medium to high, but it can save companies anywhere from 20 to 70%, depending on the implementation. Now let's talk about how these strategies differ in their workflows. In a preventive maintenance program, a business selects an asset and defines a specific time interval between maintenance tasks. For example, a machine may require lubrication on a monthly basis. Once 30 days pass, a work order to oil that machine is generated, the maintenance technician performs the task, and the data is captured. In a reliability-centered maintenance program, an asset is selected for evaluation and studied adhering to industry standards. Based on the asset and its role within the organization, the company selects the best type of maintenance program for that machine or piece of equipment. This could be a reactive maintenance, preventive maintenance, condition-based maintenance, or proactive maintenance program. Implementing these programs also differs. A preventive maintenance program simply establishes a maintenance schedule based on experience, manufacturer's suggestions, or equipment usage. Work orders are scheduled at appropriate intervals, and maintenance technicians complete the work when they appear on their daily task list. A reliability-centered maintenance program, however, focuses its implementation based on an evaluation of seven key areas. These areas examine the expected performance of the asset, how it could fail to perform, all the failure modes, their causes, their consequences, how failures can be predicted, and what actions should be taken to prevent failure. Let's take a closer look at these seven questions that should be asked when establishing a reliability-centered maintenance program. First, how does a critical asset meet current needs? This involves understanding what the equipment was made to do and how it actually performs on a day-to-day -day basis. Second, how can this asset fail? This involves determining possible scenarios or failure modes. Third, why did each failure occur? This involves identifying the root cause of each failure mode. Fourth, what happens after the failure? This step is critical in assigning the proper maintenance program to each asset. Fifth, what are the consequences of the failure? This involves understanding the impact of a failure to make decisions about how much you'll spend to prevent that failure. Sixth, what can you do to prevent these failures? This is where reliability-centered maintenance all comes together. You'll now take each asset, its failure modes, the root causes, and the consequences of each failure together to select the right maintenance approach. And finally, when is it time to replace your equipment? This involves deciding when it's no longer worth maintaining an asset and when to invest in new equipment. Now let's talk about the costs of each approach. In general, a preventive maintenance system is easier and less expensive to implement initially. It simply involves putting your critical assets on a time or usage-based schedule. Reliability-centered maintenance programs, however, can have a large upfront cost because of the process required to study each critical asset. But what about the cost savings? Most preventive maintenance programs can save companies between 12% and 18% of their operating costs. The cost savings realized by a reliability-centered maintenance program 
is heavily dependent on the quality of implementation. Cost savings may range anywhere from 20% to 70%. Each approach has its own advantages and disadvantages. Preventive maintenance programs are an improvement over emergency maintenance and are generally faster, simpler, and easier to create and put into practice. However, they run the risk of over-maintaining your equipment by servicing it too frequently. On the other hand, reliability-centered maintenance can potentially be the most efficient overall maintenance strategy, but it requires a high upfront cost and longer time to achieve results. So what resources are needed for each system? To implement a preventive maintenance program, a company must have some sort of maintenance software they can use to schedule work orders. Large organizations may need to hire a maintenance scheduler. For a reliability-centered maintenance program, companies may want to invest in maintenance software that can provide scheduling capabilities for unique pieces of equipment as well as more advanced capabilities like predictive maintenance functions. Finally, let's talk about use cases. Organizations that want to reduce the costs associated with unplanned or emergency maintenance may benefit most from a preventive maintenance program. Those companies that want to minimize the overall life cycle costs of their equipment in the long run may prefer a reliability-centered maintenance program. In conclusion, both preventive maintenance and reliability-centered maintenance programs help organizations improve their equipment performance, streamline maintenance tasks, and reduce downtime. The main difference between the two approaches is that preventive maintenance is easier and faster to implement, while reliability-centered maintenance takes more upfront investment and time, but may be a more cost-efficient approach in the long run. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we've explored the key differences between preventive maintenance and reliability-centered maintenance, their workflows, implementation, and cost implications. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more content like this. For more detailed information, visit our website at upkeep.com. We appreciate your time and look forward to bringing you more useful insights in our next video. Until then, stay tuned.